This piece literally grew out of my absolute hatred and continued disgust with junk mail. Every day in my mailbox is so much stuff. And all I can think about are the trees that were cut down uh, needlessly for all of this material that I don't even want to receive. And I'm sure everybody in America has the same issue. So I was actually experimenting around and I thought, you know, I bet wrinkled paper looks a lot like tree bark. So I took a slab of clay, I laid paper on it, I left it overnight, and sure enough, the next morning I came back and there's the, the tree bark literally made out of paper. So I thought, you know, I'm going to take a mold of that and transform it into my own artificial trunk. Literally, a way of thinking that trees are going to eventually be gone. And when they are, what will we have? We will have the remnants of trees. So I made this as kind of a monument to our destruction, a monument to our uh, irresponsibility with useless and needless slaughter of uh, the natural world. So then I took another product of trees, which is veneer, and I twisted and wound it to make the end grain of this log, this artificial log. And so the last thing I did was take uh, small little saplings, or saplings, that are actually branches that I then cast in bronze so they'd be strong enough, and I had them growing out of the bottom of this artificial tree. I call the whole piece paper trail. And that's what they do when they make an investigation, and that's what I did, I investigated.